Hi friends, thank you for joining me today for Living Out of Your Spirit. My name is Roseanne Brower from Faith and Victory Fellowship and let's start with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day and I thank you for this time that we could spend in your word. Father, I ask for the presence of the Holy Spirit to come and minister the truth to us in a way that we could understand it and apply it to our life. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Well, I'm excited about God's Word, and I'm so grateful that you decided to tune in today to this Bible lesson. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, if you're new to this channel, subscribe so that you will be notified when I put up a new uh, Bible lesson. And if you're blessed by it, share it with a friend. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to receive His Word, receive revelation, and then share it with others. And that's how God's kingdom grows through his people. Well, I'm excited about the word that God has for me to share with you today. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the kingdom of God and how we live on God's kingdom in the earth. And the scripture tells us from Romans 14 and verse 17, and this is the New King James. It says, for the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Now, why does it say here that it's not eating and drinking? Because it's not of the natural realm. See, we eat and drink to feed our natural flesh bodies. But the kingdom of God is not natural. It's supernatural. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. It's righteousness because we've been made right with God through our relationship with the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ died on the cross and paid the price for our sin so that we could be in right standing with God, so that we could now have a relationship with our Heavenly Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that wonderful? God is restoring the church back to the beginning, to the way it was with Adam and Eve in the garden. He wants us to walk with him. He wants us to talk with him. God wants a relationship with you. Your heavenly father loves you so much that Jesus paid the price for our sin so that we could have a relationship with him. That's what that's all about. That's what, that's what salvation is all about. God wants to have a relationship with you through his son, Jesus Christ. And we can have peace. The kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy. It's peace because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. We can have peace even while we're going through hard times on the earth. We can still have peace. God doesn't want you to be anxious. He doesn't want you to be fearful. He wants you to be so close to him that you know that you're protected in these last days, that you don't have to be afraid by what's going on in the earth. You don't have to be afraid of catching any kind of a sickness or disease because you have the Prince of Peace. Your Heavenly Father has you in a secret place. He's protecting you in these last days. Scripture tells us in Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It's a secret place because the enemy cannot find you there. Stay in the secret place. Dwell there. Have a close walk with God and you'll be protected. So we can have peace in troubled times. And we can have joy. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. We can have that joy even though uh, horrible things are going on in the earth. See, joy is different from happiness. Happiness is when things are going good. When we're having a good time, we're happy. But joy is a supernatural force, a supernatural spiritual force. And we're talking about the kingdom of God, which is supernatural. Joy is a supernatural spiritual force that God has given to you, saints. He's given it to us, the church. We can have the joy of the Lord in troubled times. That's what God wants for his people today. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. 
So I want to encourage you today to continue seeking the Lord. Continue seeking, knocking, and asking. And he said, he promised in the word that you will receive all of your answers. That as you seek, you'll find. That as you knock, the door will be opened. God wants to bless you today, saints. So stay close to the Lord Jesus. I just wanted to encourage you a little bit today to live in the kingdom of God, to live out of your spirit and not out of your emotion, not out of a place of sorrow or defeat because you're not defeated. Jesus came and he gave us the victory. Let me pray for you today. Heavenly Father, I pray for my friends that are watching today. I ask you to strengthen them in their inner man by the power of your spirit. I ask you to draw them close today. Fill them with your peace. Fill them with your joy. Show them how much they're loved, Father God. Bring comfort where comfort is needed. Bring peace where peace is needed. And Father, I thank you for healing them today. Send, I send your word, Father God. You sent your word to heal them and deliver them from all destruction. So we thank you for doing it today in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you, friends. I know this was short today, but I just want to encourage you to continue to seek the Lord and know that you're loved. Know how much you love. So have a wonderful day. God bless you, and I'll see you next time on Living Out of Your Spirit. Bye-bye for now.